Are you here for this amazing, revolutionary, card duplicator, puck coin generator thing that I came up with? You've, you've come to the right place. You've definitely come to the right place. Because I'm going to tell you no such thing exists. And I'm doing this to protect you. Now, a lot of my a lot of my subscribers here are new to the game, new to the series. So, I want to make sure that you guys do not fall for any kind of scams like this. If someone wants to duplicate your cards, give you like pucks by going into your account or by you giving them something, if they're trying to impersonate uh, an EA uh, employee or anything of that nature just just walk away because it doesn't exist there have been a few glitches in the past where you might have been able to get something like that but EA cracked down on it and you pretty much lost all all of your progress or sometimes you might have even gotten banned and on top of that EA did not need any of your personal information your username or your password so I do want to get that out of the way and before we continue you guys get to watch me unload my NHL 15 clips in this video because I'm sure seeing some kind of like text of people trying to scam other people probably wasn't going to help all too much. It's been funny to, to, to laugh at them though. And at the same time you guys get to see these beauties right here. So first thing you have to ask yourself when you're in these kind of situations is what would Brian do? Brian would not fall for that shit. That's that's what Brian would do or wouldn't do. Um, don't don't fall into these scams where uh, they want you to give up like something of yours, like a player or coins or your personal information, to get you something that you want. Giveaways are fine, but again, it has to be in such a way where they don't get into your account when you, uh, I guess, win a giveaway. Another thing, if you uh, have been, I guess, getting on NHL 17, they have a two-factor duplicator, <laughs> two-factor authentication system in place where they try to protect you from unauthorized access to your account. And I highly recommend that you do it in case something like that ever happens or if one of your friends get pissed off and somehow get it onto your account you don't want them getting rid of your hockey ultimate team and players and so many of you probably think oh this is this is obvious like why would I why would I do this well sometimes in the heat of the moment because you think you're gonna be rich because someone sends you a message saying hey look what I can do or something something of that nature you might think otherwise but just just remind yourself, just remember this video that Brian posted about, about scammers and duplicators and whatever, naders. It could save your life, your, your, your hockey ultimate team career. There are a lot of people that fall for this. You might not be one of them yet, but it could be you in the future. Or you can be like me in the future. I haven't fallen for anything like that. That 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 would be the ideal situation. Oh, Papa Dotsu comes Red Wings. Got it. I miss you, Magic Man. <laughs> Doing that. Okay, I'm sorry. Ah, go back to the video or audio or the main focus of this video. So these people, quote unquote, the scammers. They do whatever it takes to get into your pants, uh, pockets, pockets. Of course, is what I meant. So as soon as you see someone message you something stupid of of this nature, you just immediately ignore them. Oh, you control them as well if you want, but it's, it's not it's not recommended because you never know. You might make a mistake and you might give something something valuable up. Controlling them is kind of fun though. These scammers might say something like, "Oh, how about how about we try." You know, something on something that's not very valuable. I can I can give you like two copies of your of your eighty overall gold gold player. Of course, they have. They're just gonna buy extra copies and just send them to you or something like that. If if it doesn't involve uh, getting access to your account, occasionally they might just like send some kind of trade offers and and what they do 
usually is they they ask you to do two trade offers. I guess they might put a card up and you might put a card up and then they want to do both of the trade transactions at the same time. And then what they'll do is they'll deny one of the trade offers so it looks like you got your player back but when in reality they just deny the trade offer. And so then then uh, they'll be like, see it works! And you're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna try it with like my Crosby. Don't do that. No, no, that's stupid. Don't do that. But some people do that. And they'll try it and guy's gonna grab your Crosby for his bronze contract and it's gonna be over. It sucks. What happens? EA is not going to do anything about it because, well, it's out of their control. You can't get him banned, though. So reporting him is always nice. And the last thing that I want to talk about is trade offers. Trade offers have a very similar style, like I just pointed out with that example. But I also mentioned this in the Hockey Ultimate Team uh, auction house tips. A lot of people, when you're trying to sell something on the auction house, will try to scam you of that card by sending you a trade request. And unless uh, you get get that thing that happened to my uh, Team of the Week Backstrom, where it's kind of like a reverse scam, but I mean, I don't know, the guy just wasn't thinking or something. You usually will not get anything that great out of those those trade offers. You have to look really hard pay attention to the uh, coins that they're offering you it's usually missing a digit but if it's not missing a digit and they're offering you cards you have to look at the values of those cards and look at a bunch of bunch of different uh, I guess factors you have to look at how many cards are there on the auction house the more cards there are the lower the price is going to be so just because uh, the last price sold was a certain amount it could go even lower and lower and lower uh, the same time don't look at just the prices of all the cards you should also look at how easy how easily you can sell those cards as well now let's get back into impersonation so people don't try to just impersonate EA employees they have tried to impersonate youtubers they've tried to impersonate big people in the NHL EA NHL community they try to impersonate President Obama. Oh no! That, wait, those are called impressions. I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong subject. But the idea is, if if you're trying to do some kind of like big trades, whether it's on Reddit or Twitter or some other form of communication, you always want to pay attention to their names. Make sure they are who they say they are. Look up their history, if possible. Or even use a trusted middleman. Reddit's got a lot of those trusted middlemen so that uh, you know, after after being around for years, they probably don't want to risk you know their reputation going sour over something stupid like this, something small and stupid. So there are a bunch of things that you can do to protect yourself. When you look at a name, a lot of people, like I said, they're, they're going to impersonate, and they're going to use uh, very similar names, like if. I was about to say, if my name is Brian Storm, but I am Brian Storm. So, I'm Brian Storm, and uh, someone's trying to impersonate me, they might use Brainstorm to try to try to trick you into believing that I am him, or him is I, or something like that. And, first of all, I, I would not ever ask for your password email either. Like, I, that ain't me. I don't do that. So... So this this brainstorm guy uh, is is most certainly someone who's impersonating me, or I guess doing a very bad job of impersonating me, since I just said that I wouldn't do that. But even then, no one can take brainstorm because that's such a common name. Thankfully, brainstorm is not. So hopefully, everything I just mentioned here will make you be a little bit more cautious when it comes to anything like this. While Everything that I mentioned was specifically for NHL 17. Uh, it could also be used in real life in a bunch of different situations. Just be cautious, be careful. And remember, 
What would Brian do? Don't don't take the don't take the easy way. Thanks for watching guys and hopefully I don't I don't hear from any of you that you got scammed. Because after watching this video you should never be scammed again, possibly maybe. Never, I don't know, we'll see. I'll see you next time.